where do I start? Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and if you're thinking about getting into Savage Worlds, you may be wondering if you should get the Savage Worlds Core Rulebook or if you should opt for the Pathfinder for Savage Worlds Core Rulebook. Savage Worlds is a fast, furious, and fun tabletop role-playing game system that can handle any setting in any genre. You can do it all from this Core Rulebook. But another Core Rulebook is out there, the Pathfinder for Savage Worlds Core Rulebook. Pathfinder started as a fancy role-playing game originally based on the 3.5 edition of Dungeons and Dragons with a rich and detailed world of Galorian with many classes, feats, spells, monsters, and the like. It has since received a second edition, and now the world is being adapted to the Savage Worlds system. But what if you're just starting out in Savage Worlds and you only want a single book? Well, let's start with talking about what these two books have in common. Both books use the rules from the latest edition of Savage Worlds, which is the Savage Worlds Adventure Edition. Because they both use these rules, it means that these two books are actually compatible, but as core rule books, there's a lot of overlap. I won't get into how the Savage Worlds system works in this video, but generally speaking, character creation, fighting, skill checks, and the like are all the same between the two books. But now let's talk about how these two books are different. When designing the Savage Worlds Adventure Edition core rulebook, there wasn't one setting or genre in mind. It covers all kinds of worlds and game styles so you can tailor make your game to your style and make any character within it. It does not specialize in any one setting or genre, but relies on companion books for that assistance, but they're not required. An example of a companion book would be this Superpowers Companion, which allows you to play superheroes, or supervillains. Pathfinder for Savage Worlds, on the other hand, is not just made for a particular genre, but is tailor-made for a particular setting in the world of Glorian with its rich lore, factions, gods, and regions. It takes the Savage Worlds rule system and adapts it to the Pathfinder world and playstyle. As such, the book focuses all of its resources on Pathfinder's fantasy setting. You won't find the rules for any modern or futuristic game in this book. And while it lacks the versatility for other game styles, it replaces it with a lot of detailed and new rules and options for the setting. New character options, edges, hinges, powers, armor, weapons, enchantments are all available in this rulebook for this fantastical setting. For example, instead of just regular armor and weapons, there are options for weapons and armor made from different materials which grant different bonuses. Usually these kinds of additions would be in supplemental books such as this setting book, The Last Parsec, a sci-fi setting that requires the core rulebook and is recommended to also have the sci-fi companion. But for this book, you get the setting and the core rules all in one. Now, if you've ever played Savage Worlds before, you may know that one of the things it's more well known for is the lack of classes. When you create your character, you consider your overall concept and take the Race, hindrances, edges, and skills that fit your overall character design. Pathfinder for Savage Worlds, however, brings classes or a version of them to the Savage Worlds system. The usual classes in the core rulebook include Barbarian, Bard, Cleric, Druid, Ranger, Paladin, Fighter, Rogue, Wizard, and Sorcerer. During character creation, each character gets an additional edge for free intended to be used for a class edge, though it can be used for any edge the player wants. Regarding future expansion, the Fantasy Companion is touted as being compatible with both the core rulebook and the Pathfinder for Savage Worlds core rulebook. However, there is a lot of overlap between the new features in the Fantasy Companion that are also in the Pathfinder for Savage Worlds core rulebook. Additionally, there's an advanced player's guide for Pathfinder for Savage Worlds that includes new edges, classes, hindrances, and powers. So which should you choose? Suppose you plan on not only playing in fantasy games, but also want to dive into futuristic, modern, sci-fi, horror, or any other kind of non-fantasy game. Well, if that's the case, the core rulebook is the obvious choice. But if you and your group are coming from another system like Dungeons and Dragons and only really want to play in a fantasy setting and you want the support of the profound lore that Paizo has to offer in their setting of Glorian, then I would have to recommend that you start with the Pathfinder for Savage Worlds core rulebook. You see, not only can you get all the Pathfinder for Savage Worlds books, which already number into the 20s between their player guides, their campaign books, their bestiaries, etc., but there's also a lot of other content out there for the setting of Glorian, even if it hasn't been converted into into Savage Worlds yet. And it takes little work to convert the stuff that needs it. Just find the corresponding monster in the bestiary and adjust the modifiers to the roll for DC checks and you're ready to go. Both options are great and you can't go wrong with either. For players interested in various settings and genres, the core rulebook is the way to go. However, if you're primarily focused on fantasy settings and want to explore the world of Glorian, then the Pathfinder for Savage Worlds core rulebook is your best bet. If you found this helpful, please give this video a like and I'll see you at the table.